everybody goes through life and, and they search for the answer. Why am I here? What's my purpose? You know? When I got in the kitchen, things just started making more sense. Not a lot made sense in my life. But when I started cooking, I had a release. My name is Chef William Hoffman. I am the co-owner and chef of the House of William & Mary, and I cook. So we kind of wanted to come up with a dish that, in the end result, looked very fancy and kind of had that regal, really, oh man, that looks really beautiful and high-end, but the preparation is very simple. We're doing a Crescent Farm Long Island duck that's been grilled. Uh, it's being served with local parsnips that are glazed in a 75-minute maple uh, cast condition IPA. Also a little bit of uh, crispy parsnip, some micro arugula, and red Viagio pear. It's finished with a little truffle puree just to get a little high-class touch. Cooking a, a breast of duck on its skin side is very much like cooking um, a strips of bacon. If it's too hot, it's going to burn. Or it'll burn and won't even cook through all the way. So you want an even kind of medium to medium high temperature. I like it medium to medium rare. Usually that's about four or five minutes on each side. Next thing you want to do is take parsnips. We do something called blanching, which is basically plunging the parsnips in some boiling water. So it takes that rawness out of them, it softens them up, and allows them to take some color when you go to saute them. Saute the parsnips. You don't want them to burn, just a little bit of color on the parsnips, and then you deglaze with the beer. But you don't reduce it down. It's not like you don't want it soupy. You want the beer to come down, the beer will thicken, it'll mix with the butter. The next thing we do is just slice some pears, pull some of the micro arugula, um, and kind of make just a little style. The key is when you're cooking a dish or assembling a dish like this is not getting overwhelmed by trying to do everything at once. Do one thing at a time. Cook the duck first, get it resting. It needs to rest for about eight minutes, 10 minutes, so the juices redistribute. Cook the parsnips, have them off to the side. Have your salad, have everything ready, and then when you go to plate up, especially if it's four or six people, you have your duck, you slice it, you have your salad already ready, and you have your parsnips on the plate, a little bit on top, fan the duck out. Don't overthink it, don't overdo it, don't get intimidated by it. You should give it a shot. The cooking's fun, go for it, you know? I know it's cliche, but it really does mean something. And there's a reason why chefs like me say it, and a reason why there's other people that say the same exact thing I'm saying, because we believe in something that, that is special. And it's when you can support your local small businesses, your local farms, and, and cook with your heart, your, your food's gonna be good no matter what.